prepare for the coming apocalypse in 2012 when the animal uprising begins. It's Cabela's Big Game Hunter 2012. Hone your skills, stay alive. The future is coming faster than you think. Outstanding. Unless you're listening to this from the past or in, in the future in the year 2013, which either means that you survived thanks to Big Game Hunter 2012 or that the Aztecs were just plain wrong. Anyway, Cabela's is there for you, because whether or not there's an animal uprising in 2012 doesn't change the fact that the robots are coming in 2084, and you'll definitely want to shoot them. Ah, damn, those animals are dangerous. It's our planet. We were here first. Maybe. Because humans are the real Zevians, or is it the other way around? Now, admittedly, I'm not really the target market for this game because I don't hunt for food unless it's a pizza that I'm really craving. But I'm always down with shooting galleries because it's the ultimate party game, and it hones my shooting skills so I can fight off waves of feral zebras that have developed a taste for human blood and communicate telepathically. Don't underestimate zebras! The question is not whether or not there's black stripes on a white animal or white stripes on a black animal. Zebras are all evil, with polka dots covered by stripes. This game is also filled with evil birds, evil deer, evil bunny rabbits, and evil cardboard cutouts of evil animals, all of which need to be shot and stomped on. We're watching the PlayStation 3 version of this game using the Top Shot Elite. You can also use the PlayStation Move on the PlayStation 3 version, but that's not all. This game also rains evil dead animals on you after you shoot them. Big Game Hunter 2012 is available for Xbox 360 and Nintendo Wii, because Cabela's wants to make sure that no matter what game system you're using, you have a fighting chance in the year 2012. When your reticule is on fire, that means you add plus three fire damage to all of the animals that you hit. It also means you're doing well in chaining your shots together without missing, so you score big points. How do you freeze animals in this game and then hit them with a sledgehammer? After each of the shooting gallery levels, it adds up your score, gives you some stars, and unlocks new levels. Like the fire level, which gives you a glimpse of what our scorched earth will look like if you let the animals win. Pretty standard stuff. The key is not to miss or else you blow your multiplier and risk being eaten by evil zebras. In addition to the standard arcade shooting galleries, you also get what they call the reflex mode where you have to shoot animals in a particular order to score big points. Teaching animals to respect their human overlords one shot at a time. Let's take a look at target practice. Where you learn to protect the Earth from flying saucers after the aliens wonder why the animals haven't responded to their calls. It's like Star Trek IV with more guns. This is actually one of the more challenging modes in the game, and keep an eye out for dynamite because it's fun to watch these things scatter all over the place when you blow them up. Like the other Cabela's shooting games, one of the best features is that you can play this game with a bunch of your friends at once. One to four players shooting animals together. It's like you're having a great time playing an arcade game, competing for points even though you're actually training for the end of the world. But what separates humans from animals is teamwork. And humans have nuclear missiles, which they don't. Really welcome y'all to the 2012 Orion International Safari. Hold on now, there's more to this game than meets the eye. There's also a storyline mode where you're competing in an international hunting tournament. And rather than just blasting animals like a shooter on rails, you actually get out in the field and move your guy around using the analog stick on the back of the Top Shot Elite or with the PlayStation Move. You typically have an objective or a certain animal you're trying to hunt down, other times there's animals that'll jump out of the bushes at you, or birds you can just switch to your shotgun and blow them out of the air. And of course, you can upgrade your weaponry. But don't underestimate these animals, they're smart, they can hear you from a mile away, smell you, and they're out to destroy you, they will cause you to lose this game. Show those know-it-all fuzzy creatures who's boss, who invented video games? Who has thumbs? Who's aiming a Top Shot Elite at your head? That's right, it's people! Playing Cabela's Big Game Hunter 2012!